If you guys haven't been living under a rock, then I'm pretty sure you've heard about the recent Tucker Carlson vs Putin interview. Which I of course as a Russian have already reacted to in this channel and my conclusion basically was that I really don't care. <laughs> <laughs> It was just a sad history lesson from an old geezer, essentially. You said a serious talk, so bear with me, please. We're coming to the point where the Soviet Ukraine was established. But something that's actually been going viral recently are videos of Tucker Carlson in Russia, in which he visited a Russian supermarket and was basically in awe and shock at the fact that Russians actually have food, which means that sanctions are clearly not working. <laughs> And also made the conclusion that grocery shopping in Russia is just so much cheaper because uh, he has no idea about anything and he doesn't know how currencies work. What is up guys, it is your boy Roman, your favorite neighborhood Russian, and in today's video guys, we'll react to Tucker Carlson glazing Russia, and react to his infamous supermarket video. Now basically guys, there's nothing new with this, because this follows a pattern we've been seeing already on YouTube. You might have seen a ton of these clickbait videos on YouTube saying, you know, sanctions don't work, Russian grocery shops are overflowing with food, the West has fallen. And these are usually videos of people basically walking around in the supermarket in Russia and pointing at things and saying, look, that's food. That's food right there. Come on. Russians are not starving to death in the streets, especially in wealthy cities like Moscow. Is Russia the best country in the world? So yeah, cringe. <laughs> Especially how we can clearly see consequences to the Russian economy as far as sanctions go. The Russian ruble has crashed, and the regular people, especially in provincial Russia, we have salaries like 20,000, 30,000 rubles a month. The regular people are definitely getting poorer and poorer. And I know that this affects real people because it's all I hear from people and like my relatives. How expensive everything, including groceries, is getting. But what do I know, guys, right? So let's check out this eye-opening, revealing video by Tucker Carlson. So a long-standing feature, maybe the longest-standing feature of Cold War propaganda in the West was the Soviet grocery store. <laughs> no products, no choices shoddily made things and it wasn't actually propaganda it was real and you can look up the pictures on the internet if you want so we thought it would be interesting to take a look at a contemporary modern day 2024 russian grocery store two years into sanctions here we go i guess he's trying to make the point that russia today is kind of painted in the same light as the soviet union which could be true to some degree but that's essentially what people want to see right because you know you have a thousand of these fuckers making these russia has foods in grocery stores sanctions didn't work looking ass videos right i guess if russia looked like this then that would be evidence if the you know russia is actually feeling the effects of sanctions but look they have shit in stores clearly there's nothing that could be wrong with this country all right there we go. So I guess you put in 10 rubles here and you get it back when you put the cart back. <laughs> so it's free, but there's an incentive to return it and not just bring it to your homeless encampment. Okay. <sighs> yeah, guys, I mean, I've already seen this particular clip, actually. <laughs> it is hilarious to me that Tucker is amazed at the fact that you can use coins to like unlock shopping carts in supermarkets. I've seen this in pretty much every single country I've ever been to in large supermarkets. Like, <laughs> what is he on about? This is the most basic thing that the West has also. And also I love how he turns this into a anti-homeless argument basically, right? That in America, probably some homeless fucker would steal this cart. Like, you're insane. Like, what are you talking about? <laughs> But yes, I am glad to see that it's still 10 rubles. At least the inflation in Russia has not hit the fucking uh, price of unlocking a shopping cart in Ashan. Okay, this is the uh, grocery cart escalator. <laughs> this is designed, I'm figuring this out now, where the wheels don't move, they lock on the grocery cart escalator. Look, Ma, no hands. <laughs> What is this Borat? Like, what is happening? What is this? It's an American who came to Russia who's like marveled at like the most basic things and basic technologies that pretty much everybody's used to at this point. Like, what is this? It's amazing. We need more of Tucker just walking around in Russia, but this is great. <laughs> just the dumbest person ever. The most clueless American fucking happy-go-lucky guy in an environment that he does not understand. Best comedy show idea I've ever seen. Retail placement here is a little bit different. So you're, it's like walking through Macy's to get to Whole Foods. Okay, we've gotten through the perfume section to get to the grocery store. So we're gonna try and buy what a family of four would buy every week. 
and we're going to see what the selection is and we're going to see what it costs. So yes, he's actually going in into Ashan or Oshan, which is actually a chain of supermarkets you might recognize if you live in Europe. I'm not sure if they have locations in the US, but Oshan is originally a French company and they have had stores in Russia for a very, very long time now, for probably over 10, 15 years at this point. And yes, they do still continue their business in Russia, which is very interesting. Okay. So Russia is famous for its bread, which is one thing I can assess pretty well. The low carb lifestyle has not swept Russia. Uh, thank heaven, because they, I mean, look at that. It's fresh too. Look at that. Oh, come on. <laughs> what is this? I mean, look, I don't want to sound like a condescending asshole right now because I do realize there's a lot of places in the world that do have an issue with food shortage, right? And famine, etc. But like, come on, dude. <laughs> We're comparing to the United States here, right, I guess. Like, what is this? Why is my guy so, like, why is he, like, busting in his pants over, like, some bread? It's bread, bro. Every country has bread. In any country you go to supermarkets, you will find fresh bread. But I guess they only have fresh bread in Russia. The American people can't even make bread anymore. Truly the worst time in American history. But yeah, I don't understand this one at all, like... <laughs> I was in Portugal just recently, and if you go in into like any Ashan as well, my Ashan on the corner in a store, you will get like freshly baked pastries and bread in the morning there. This more than anything I think just shows like Tucker's racism. <laughs> Because even though Tucker is like glazing Russia and glazing the Russian government and Putin as hard as possible here, right? It's like, why are you so amazed that bread existed in Russia? So I guess you do have like a certain stereotypical image of Russia being a country of like, you know, poor, starving peasants as well, right? <laughs> They can all barely afford bread there. Like, he's thinking Russia is North Korea. So this is why he's so excited at Russia having bread in stores. Like, that's my only understanding of this, guys. Unicorn and mini mills. All right. <laughs> Some kind of Russian wheat cookies. <laughs> I'm sorry, he just looks like a child in the shot, like a kid shopping with his mom who's just so lost and who doesn't know what, what to get next. I saw a lot of people online clowning Tucker for this clip here, saying that he essentially looks like he's never shopped for groceries in his life before. And I think that's actually the case because, like, Tucker Carlson was born with a silver spoon up his ass or whatever. He grew up rich, so he probably never actually shopped for himself and pushed the fucking shopping cart, clearly, around the grocery store because this is, like, amazing to him. But guys, honestly, I relate. <laughs> I don't want to clown on my man too much. I have ADHD. I also have the eating habits of, like, a teenager still at 26 years old, eating a full bag of potato chips as a meal type shit. So when I'm in a grocery store, I kind of feel the same, especially if I'm high. <laughs> so honestly, I can relate to Tucker. If I was in a Russian grocery store right now, that would be a trip. Ooh, we need coffee, don't we? <laughs> I don't know if this is sugar or flour, to be honest with you, but uh... Cocaina. It looks like a staple, so we should get it. It's a very good looking package. It's gotta be flour, right? <laughs> yeah, he did the fucking Breaking Bad fucking Tsuko Salamanca. <laughs> Scarface, you know, <sighs> hilarious. And this is Russian wine. It's from Crimea, which not only has the warm water naval base, but also is the source of most of the grapes uh, in this part of <laughs> Russia for wine. So it's apparently pretty good. Of course, Tucker, yes, American journalist. Let's promote Crimea being Russia. It's a good look, but also Georgian wine clears, in my opinion. This is the funniest shit, I swear to god. He's standing next to Kajdi Dien. It basically means every day. It's like Oshan's sort of affordable, great value sort of product line that they sell in their stores in Russia. So usually it's the cheapest shit that you can get and they make all sorts of stuff under this brand. And uh, a lot of it ranges from pretty edible to basically being dog food. And it's a huge meme in Russia. So seeing them standing next to this Kajdi Dien, yeah, I mean, just our boy Tucker, just our fellow Russian scoof. <laughs> Just shopping for some cash DJ. I mean, yeah, who hasn't been in this situation, really? This could be any of you guys. It could be me. So relatable. Check out of a grocery store and you've got gum, razor blades, and candy. Actually, they hide the razor blades because <laughs> we steal them. Why they hide the razor blades, Tucker? The homeless probably are about to steal it, right? That's why they do this. <laughs> Not sure if that's like a compliment or an insult to Russia at this point. Mars, Twix, Snickers, Milky Way, Bounty, Gillette. Paul's cough drops, Mentos. <laughs> it's pretty non-sanctioned to me, but what do I know? Yes, once again, this is something that people really confuse, I feel like. Sanctions put on Russia and just Western companies leaving Russia and refusing to sell their stuff in Russia is not exactly the same thing. 
these get confused a lot. And actually, a lot of Western companies stayed in Russia and are continuing to sell their stuff, or a lot of Western companies just sell their stuff to Russia through other countries like Kazakhstan, etc. So this is how Western products end up in Russia today, and this is why you still have a ton of them. Again, the logic of, like, you have Snickers and Mars and Milky Way in a store here clearly means that sanctions have had zero effects. Yes, I've seen this position on the internet a lot, and you guys are dumb as shit. <laughs> I went from amused to legitimately angry. There we go. Um, so we were guessing what this would cost. Everybody here is from the United States buys groceries, and we didn't pay any attention to costs as we were just putting in the cart what we would actually eat over a week. And we all came in around 400 bucks, about 400 bucks. Um, it was $104 US here. And that's when you start to realize that ideology maybe doesn't matter as much as you thought, corruption. If you take people's standard of living and you tank it through filth and crime and inflation and they literally can't buy the groceries they want at that point maybe it matters less what you say or whether you're a good person or a bad person you're wrecking people's lives in their country and that's what our leaders have done to us oh dear god so yes this is the moment everybody's talking about he's so dumb the minimum wage in the united states is well over a thousand dollars the minimum wage in Russia is like $300 or something like that. Yes, guys, there's like quite a bit of a difference between uh, salaries and wages in America and Russia. So perhaps this is the reason why groceries cost so much cheaper compared to uh, <laughs> the United States. I mean, has Tucker ever been to a foreign country before? Has Tucker ever, you know, went to pay for something in a foreign country and went, hmm, interesting, that's kind of cheap. I wonder why. <laughs> like, what the fuck? How is this man taken seriously by anybody? You also need to understand, right, and I've been saying this for years, that yes, stuff like groceries and foods is definitely cheaper in Russia compared to the West, right? It is cheaper, but it's still fucking expensive compared to the average salary. And also, many things in Russia that Russians need are actually more expensive than in the West. For example, tech products. So this would be basically anything. From fridges or appliances, anything you would need in your house, to like smartphones, computers, etc. Most of these usually come from the West. And it's actually more expensive to buy this stuff in Russia than it is to buy it in America. So for example, iPhones in Russia are way more expensive than they are in the US. But yet Russians still have a shitty salary. You know what I'm saying? So at the end of the day, Russians can't afford anything, and the proportion to which they can't afford things is way worse than what you have in America, right? Under Joe Brandon. Bidenomics, right? And how does anybody say this seriously? He's literally talking about, like, the United States government destroying the people's lives through crime and filth and lies, and making the people poor, right? And making, you know, people unable to afford things. Look, I'm not saying that the inflation in America is not a real problem. Inflation is a problem everywhere around the world. I'm just saying that this kind of journalism, where you're basically portraying America as, like, a terrible country where everybody's, you know, getting poorer and poorer and can't, you know, survive. And Russia at the same time, look, is like, a country where groceries and the level of life is actually pretty high. I'm not gonna give any context on the political situation and the situation with free speech in Russia. Look guys, we bought groceries for $100 worth, insane. Russia best country to move to and live in? Question mark guys? I mean, yeah. We would love it if you moved to Russia, Tucker. But I don't think you would like to, especially considering what happens to people who oppose Russia, like uh, Alexei Navalny, for example, right? And coming to a Russian grocery store, the heart of evil, and seeing what things cost and how people live, it will radicalize you <laughs> against our leaders. That's how I feel anyway, radicalized. We're not making any of this up, by the way, at all. Yes, fellas, this is truly one of the Tucker Carlson moments of all time. He definitely made a video and uh, there were definitely words in this. <laughs> But I just love the fact that we can put any of these, you know, propaganda pundits in any real-world situation and you can immediately see how disconnected they are from the average person. Not only due to the fact that Tucker basically looks like he's never been in a grocery store before, but also due to the fact that Tucker, once again, either doesn't know or pretends to, you know, have no idea about the fact that Russians make a lot less money compared to uh, Americans. So, when you make just a few hundred dollars a month, getting your groceries for a hundred dollars is actually fucking a lot, believe it or not. I just cannot believe that he says this with a straight face. And to me, as a Russian, it's honestly insulting because, like, once again, a ton of people in the provinces in Russia are barely, like, scraping by. And I'm gonna say it, Russian grocery stores now suck compared to stores in the West because in 2014, after the European Union sanctioned Russia following the annexation of Crimea, what Russia did is implement certain counter-sanctions which basically banned the imports of foods from Europe. So this would be all the good stuff, like, you know, all the nice meats and cheeses and everything from, like, Italy and everything, you know, the good stuff. 
Mamma Mia. And when you go to a Russian store now, yeah, I mean, it's kind of like dire. Yes, you have Western products and everything, but when it comes to like actual really good quality products and actually really well made cheese and meats, yes, it exists, but also I do really feel like the, the diversity of products in Russia could be better and it used to be better. So recently, once again, I was in Europe and I was walking around, you know, grocery stores there. I was like, damn, this is fucking sick. Because I was just looking at all the different types of cheese and meats they have and everything. I was like, yes, this is heaven on earth. You know, Europeans basically live in abundance. Like, I don't want to go back to a grocery store in like Chelyabinsk ever again after seeing this. You know what I'm saying? So uh, if we really want to get down to the bottom of it and talk about, you know, which place is better for grocery shopping. I would rather do grocery shopping in Europe because there's just so much variety of shit that I can buy. And that is something that nobody ever talks about, and that is also the effect of sanctions, right? But also, once again, this entire rhetoric of, look, they have food in Russian stores, and like, Russians are actually not starving like they did in the 90s. Clearly, sanctions are not working, and clearly, you know, the West has fallen, and we're not doing, you know, shit. Look, Russia is a huge country with a ton of natural resources and a ton of farmland, etc. Like, it's a country that can sustain itself. I don't know why, in the first place, it's so surprising to a lot of Westerners to see the fact that Russia has bread and meat in stores and shit. Because, once again, this just shows us how out of touch truly a lot of Westerners are with Russia. And then, when they see a video of a store full of food in Russia, they're like, Jesus Christ, guys, look, sanctions are not working. And actually, guys, yes, Putin is the greatest leader, and I wish we had a leader like him in America. Now, he would not allow the country to be, you know, in this terrible situation with the homeless and the inflation, which is, by the way, both issues that definitely, definitely do not exist in Russia. <laughs> so, yeah, guys, what can I say? Yet another embarrassing example of Western conservatives simping for Russia and Vladimir Putin. This is basically a staple at this point, a classic. I've been talking about this for years. This is truly a content well that will never dry out because it seems like there will always be a never amounting amount of boomers in America who just found out Russia and Putin exist like two weeks ago who don't know a single thing about Putin and who are saying basically that Russia is the greatest country that is actually doing so much better than the West. Yes, I love those people. To conclude this video, all I have to say is, book your tickets to move to Russia right now, guys. $100 for groceries. Surely this is a great thing to give up your freedom for. <laughs> but in a serious note, guys, I hope you did enjoy today's video. If you guys did, then please make sure to slap the like on it. And as well, guys, as always, if you would like to support me additionally, and that is financially, then go over to the link down in the description and become a YouTube member. It's basically like YouTube's own version of Patreon. It's the best way to support me. It's like a monthly donation type of thing, which also gives you special perks. Or if you want to do a one-time donation, you can use super thanks underneath this video. That being said, thank you guys so much for watching this video, and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.